Right then, so we're on the second vid. Uh, put it on full screen. So it says, so find those, so on the result of falls. Okay, so what do we know then? Right, so let's have a look at what the resultant is horizontally. So horizontally, now I'm going to assume that this is my positive direction, that going to the right is my positive direction. And what I've got, I've got this component here, which will be 4 cos 30. So I've got, what an expert, a 4 cos 30. I've got the component from a 10, so that'll be a 3 cos 10, because it's next to the angle. And then if you look at this one, it's going, oh, actually, I'll do it from this way, actually. Uh, it's going in the opposite direction. So that would be a minus, because it's going in the opposite direction, because it's going to the left, if I follow, oops, follow my arrows. It's opposite the 20, so that would be a 5 sine 20. There. And if you put that in your calculator... According to the completed pack, it's 4.7 newtons. So vertically, take up as being positive, I'll use Y. So what have I got? Should I change colours? So going up, I've got a 4 sine 30 because it's opposite the angle. Uh, then if you look, I've got a going down one here for the 3 newton one. So it's going to be minus because it's going in the opposite direction. And that'll be a 3 sine 10. And then I've got this one, the 20 degree one. It's next to the angle. So minus because it's going down. And 5 cos 20. See if that agrees with the completed pack. Yes, it does. And that tells me it's minus 3.2 newtons. So I've worked out the, the resultant forces dragging it, so it's dragging it to the right and dragging it down. Now it wants to find the magnitude and the direction of the resultant force. So think about what I'm saying here. So I'm saying it's going across 4.7 newtons and it's also going down 3.2 newtons. So now I can work out the resultant force and the angle. So the resultant force, I put R so if we call it R instead of F. So the resultant force will be 4.7 squared plus 3.2 squared, which the completed pack says is 5.7 newtons. And then if I look at the angle, so tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. So theta is 34 degrees roughly. Now that's below the horizontal because it's going down. So I'm going to put below horizontal there. Now I think there's a question for you. There is. And then it's just consolidation. So there isn't actually that much in that one. So I wonder if we do two lessons in one to get ever so slightly ahead. There. So there's a question for you. Okay. Right. See you later. Bye-bye.